All right, so uh, today we're going to be doing the OSCP proving ground. See, I'm already uh, pinging the machine. All right. Um, for OSCP proving grounds, if you actually go into uh, offensive security up here, you click on labs, then you click on let me play. Uh, you can sign up for it. Um, you do have, it is free. You do have three hours of free time a day if you don't pay for it. So look up here, like I got an hour and 40 minutes left, and that's, uh, it's within a 24 hour period. So even though I did it like yesterday, I haven't opened up since yesterday. But today we're going to do cyber exploit. All right. Um, I'm already pinging the machine and everything, so we know we're doing that. So let's go ahead and run an MAP scan on it. For cyber support. Uh, port 80 and port 22 are open. So we know what port 80 is open, so let's go ahead and do a dirt search. Here are those guys. We will make it recursive. Try and make it fast, as fast as possible. So medium.txt, that will take a minute also. So alright, cool. Uh, you would download your VPN up here, just in case uh you know. Then say that probably right there. We've done VP out there. All right, and uh, yeah, check my phone like real quick. Thank you. Uh, actually, open up Twitch over here. All that thing's running its stuff. Not prepared today. Just not prepared at all. There we go. All right. Um, so yeah, I run our dirt search. Just go ahead and check out that port 80. It looks like it already brought a couple things back, but normal stuff. It looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, check out that port 80 there. See what's on there. Um, welcome to Cybersploit CTF. Okay, you should try something more. Okay. Control U. I'm not seeing anything else. Username. Never mind. Okay, we have a user. <laughs> I do see something else. We have a username like right there. So we know the username is ITSSKV. Let me go ahead and whoops. Let me go ahead and copy that and make a directory. CD into the desktop. Um, what, proving grounds? Yeah. Do I have this one? Nope. Make directory for cyber splits. CD into that. And then we'll just do a nano username. Paste that in there. So don't forget that. All right, close. Cool. So we already got a username. It also looks like we have robots here. So let's try that out. Slash robots. Okay. It might be base64. That might be. Let's try GTF or not GTF open. Let's try um, Cyber Chef. See if we get anything with that guy right there. <clears throat> All right. Just figuring out something. Cybersploit YouTube dot com slash c cybersploit okay let's go there i guess i don't know <laughs> all right okay um let's see something we do have an SSH, right? Slash hacker. You can only see what that is, but we do have an SSH, right? So I'm wondering if that's actually a password. What we just got. Let's try SSH and as whatever the hell that guy's name was. We'll cut that username first. And we'll try SSH ITSSKV at 192. This is a, kind of a long shot, like right here. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. <clears throat> I don't really remember this box very well. We also have a hacker down here too, for my bytes, so that might be something to look into. Let's copy that in there. <laughs> that was it. All right, cool. Okay, let's clear all that. So we're already in it, so let's do a sudo back out. See what he can run. He can't run sudo. Okay, let's um, send limpies at it. I mean, that's always the best idea. Send them piece at it and see what the SUID is. So let's first cat the SUID, script SUID lookup. First do this, see if we can do anything with that. See if anything looks out of place. And we'll ooh, X1 up there. We'll also um, do a little um, limpies. CD into privilege escalation on some scripts. Limpies. 
Let's just do that. Okay. okay. Let me get that. Python. Python tag M. Simple HTTP server up and running. And then we'll do a. Uh, from here, we'll uh, go up to this guy and we'll do my config. See what my IP address is. There we go. Wget. Lmps.sh. All right. Change node to make it executable. And let's go ahead and uh, once we change that mode, we'll go ahead and run Lmps. Ooh, Olex Bird. Okay, the Linux version is old. So you can also see that with like a uname tag U, but that Linux version is old. So we might be able to actually do an actual kernel exploit. That's a new, that's something new on here. Okay, let's try that. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and open up our exploit database. Okay, they got one on exploit DB, so we can look it up at search boy. And what are you called? OS OFS so CVE 2015-1328. So let's search boy this guy real quick. Um, let's see here. 319, Ubuntu version 12.04.14.15. Let's see here. Where's my Ubuntu version at? 12.04. Okay. So that should work with it. 12.04 plus the 313.0. So right now we're just looking at the exploit and seeing what is most likely working. It's looking like it's going to. So, and it's also telling us how to actually decompile it, like right here. So we got to change the name to OFS.C. So let's go ahead and search for it. Let's see if we can send an exploit over to it. So I'm just kind of lower that guy down a lot. Actually, he's up here. Leave that guy up. So let's go ahead and do a search point. Search point for uh, 3.13.0. Linux kernel 3.13.0 through 3.19. Okay, and we want to see local privilege isolation. Okay, 37292. I'm gonna CD into my um one folder like, real quick. My desktop proving grounds, and this one was called server exploit. Right? I'm gonna CD in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a search exploit. Attack M. Uh, 37292. 292.c. We'll see if that's the same thing. Cat 37292.c. So let's see if this is the same exploit like right here. OFCS? Yeah, the same one. Okay. So we can also figure this out with a uname tag U. Let's go ahead and stop this. We're about to send an exploit, anyways. Alright, so let's move 3 to OFS.c, right? That's what we should be doing like right now. OFS.c. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Stop running. You stop. You stop. Just try to get back into it. That's the sage. Boom. Yep. And then it was that cyber exploit password. Where's that? Is that robots.txt or I? Man, I messed it. Messed it up and I messed it all sorts of up, huh? So that one cyber exploit password that I had from earlier. Um, I'm pretty sure that was in robots. Let me see. And then it was decoded, right? So it was robots decoded. Yeah, it was that guy, and then we decoded that guy. Cyber chef. Save that. Okay, now let's go ahead and transfer over this guy. So let's do a Python. Okay. Python, uh, attack M again. Do our simple HTTP server. We're going to transfer over this exploit, this OFS.c exploit. We're going to transfer that over here so that is a kernel exploit that supposedly will work on this guy. 
Um, as of right now, it's looking like he will, so we're going to try that. So, let's do a uh, W get. P. Whoopsie daisy. Um, I need my IP address. And that is OFS.C. Alright, cool. So we did that. So I should be able to see it now. OFS.C. Oh, it's a flag tuner here too. Cat flag two. That's X. The flag's in our file. Okay. Cat local dot text. Where's flag one? Where I was found the first one, I think. Alright, so OFS.C. So we have that now. So let's go ahead and uh decompile that was GCC uh, OFS.C tag O OFS okay and then it should be period slash OFS I believe and ID yeah and now I'm root um which Python got to run Python he is just regular okay so we can scripts full shell Escape R dash. Okay, and then we'll see the slash root and cat R proof. That text. Alright, so you'll notice with uh, proving grounds, you will have a couple flags in here. Like this file flag, like cat file flag dot text. You'll see your flag in another file. Um, that's because for proving ground, you know, they do have the flags in uh, different areas uh, or different file names, just so whenever you upload them into there into office security thing it is uploaded properly so we did that one that was pretty quick uh didn't take very long at all so that's pretty sweet um and yeah we got to look at exploiting uh through a linux kernel exploit which you don't really see that very often usually it's you know some of the suid or <clears throat> something with sudo sudo that they can run but exploiting with uh kernel exploits that was pretty sweet i was really surprised that password worked that we got I don't really remember that box very much. Probably did on duty at like midnight or something like that. All right, uh, let's look up uh, Seppuku, I don't know, Katana, I don't know, Dawn, uh, Dejin. Let's see here. Let's grab one. Just trying to find one. What else do you expect? <clears throat> Excuse me. Inclusiveness. There we go. Is the web dev gone wrong? Only proof that text is a valid flag. Let's try this one. Let's try on inclusiveness, like real quick. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording for this one. But inclusiveness should be right behind it on YouTube. 